that's a habit I picked up. When I lived in front of the White House on the north side of Lafayette Square, I used to urinate in a jug every night. And in the morning when I'd finish, I'd leave and go to a cafe near the White House. And I'd throw a jug of piss in the trash every day. <clears throat> Then, and that was, that was at that little hut there with all the flags and stuff. Um, basically, I moved in there in December of 2000, hmm, 2021, actually. December 2021. I squatted there. I moved in. I don't care what they do there now, because who cares? They're not really important people in the world in my opinion. And uh, additionally, then I lived in tents here in Washington, D.C., many tents. I urinated in containers as well there too when I was not able to properly use the bathroom. Additionally, now that I live here in Anacostia at this transitional housing called Valley Place on the corner of High Street and Valley Place in Southeast Washington, D.C., well, I used to have roommates that would party all night and actually make drugs in the bathroom and in the kitchen. I didn't like that. I stayed in my room all the time, and I used a jug for urine, and I also defecated, took poop. I took a poop in bags, and then I'd take the bag to the trash in the morning. That's how I avoided my roommates who were here who were trying to screw up my life and all your lives, too, with the drugs that they made here. They moved out a couple of months ago. Although, just out of the apartment, one still lives here at Valley Place, and one still lives in the area, to my knowledge. That's okay. It's normal these days. Well, not for me, but for a lot of people who don't mind. I care a lot, and I want to change the world and make it better. Here, let's watch some more footage of just all the dumb stuff that I do regularly on a daily basis here in Washington, D.C., Check it out. Oh yeah, why do people still live in cages about like the size of this? About the size of two of these cages. Cages about the size of two of these for that. Cages, maybe the size of a Starbucks bathroom, maybe not twice as big as two of those for that. It's called marijuana in most parts or cannabis or ganja. Pick your name cages for what oh let me do the cage this way it's from here to here with a diagonal right here you have a diagonal for your toilet and your toilet paper and you have a desk on the wall and there's a metal bunk and there's a window if you're lucky if you're in isolation you get no window and you get a smaller room and you get more basically um torture if you're in isolation
is today is your birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. White House, Washington, D.C. That's where the president lives. Can someone please ask him to sign some of the proper paperwork and rather than the messed up paperwork that messes us up? Please, somebody. Somebody, somebody, please. Somebody, please say, sign the good paperwork to help us rather than the bad paperwork. Please, somebody help us with the good paperwork, not the bad paperwork, Mr. President. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> Whatever. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, uh. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, here they are. Hey, I got a message for y'all. I got a message for those folks. Here we go. It's over that way. I'm gonna go catch the bizza the other way. No, 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 no. It's Saturday, June 8th, Washington, D.C., with the streets blocked off for you and me. And why is that? Because we're about to have a performance from the G-J-I-M-M-Y Jim E tonight. New York Hardcore, Murphy's Law. Ha ha. Guess what? That's fun times. And hope you can make it because most people cannot. And guess what else? Nothing. Ah ha ha. Oh, check it out. If you want to know where all your money goes, ask the think tanks. And then the think tanks all change their names to different like schools and different things. Like that's a think tank, but now they change their name to the Chicago School of Psychology because they can mind fuck the whole world. They're very good at it. It's also Booz Allen Hamilton. Same fucking people right there. So this dude, I just saw him from sitting over there taking my picture when I was talking to my friend at the drum circle. This is him if anyone cares to know. And then he laughed because he thinks it's funny to take people's pictures because he thinks he's Walmart or me. So, and then he says he doesn't speak English as well. But he understood me until he decided to say he didn't speak English. So I told him, don't take our pictures. We're holy people here. And he knows I speak Spanish because I told him in Spanish, Espanol, to wait until I went and got my camera to take his picture. Douchebag. And when he was taking our picture, he was taking it from right there, where those dudes are sitting. So they're on Team Asshole today, and so I put them on the video too. 
はあはあ。チーブチーブああハッピーファーデンスデイハッピーファーデンスデイ